Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to take a look at installing and using ICC printer profiles with Photoshop Elements 15. Now before this video, I assume that you've already changed your printing preferences, so you're using the correct quality and paper settings, and you've also disabled the automatic printer profile. If you haven't done that yet, then check out either the PDF instructions supplied with your profile or one of our other videos to see how to do that. The first thing we're going to do is install our profile. Now I've got this one on the desktop here. This will have either been supplied by email or it might be on a disk with your printer. Today we're going to use the Ricoh SG3110DN with City Ink Express paper. So to install this profile, we simply right click on it and select install profile. Now there's no loading screen that pops up or egg timer when you do that. It is completely instant. So as soon as we click that, we can move on to the next step, which is to open up Photoshop Elements 15. Now, once we're into this, if we go to File, we can't currently click the Print option because there's nothing open for it to print. So we'll open a new file. doesn't matter what it is for now because all we're doing is setting up the profile. So now we go to File and Print. And wait for the Print dialog to warm up. There we go. So we'll select our printer from the drop down here using our example Rico printer again today. And next we have this more options button at the bottom, which is, we want to click on that. And inside this new dialog, which has opened up, we go to the color management options. And for this, we want Photoshop elements to manage our colors. So we want Photoshop elements to decide what gets sent to the printer and our printer profile is the one we've just installed, the Ricoh SG3110DN with City Ink Express paper. Let me click OK on that. And now we click Print to save those settings. Now your printer may or may not spit out a blank page depending on the settings that you have on there. We'll click Print. And now all of those settings have been saved. So next time we print any file from Photoshop Elements 15, it will automatically apply the correct printer profile that we've now chosen. There's no need to go into any of those settings again. And obviously all of these instructions are included as a PDF with your profile as well. So if you'd prefer to follow paper instructions, you can do so. Thank you very much.